How's it going everybody? Welcome to a new game, at least for me. I'm not sure exactly how long it's been around for, but it's called Disney Sorcerer's Arena. And from what I understand, it sounds like basically a Disney RPG style game. And I like RPG games, and I saw this was available, so I downloaded it, I played through the tutorial, I was having a lot of fun doing that. And as soon as I think I made through all the tutorials, it took like 30 minutes, I wanted to hop on camera and play with you guys. Just kind of see if you've heard about it, what you think about it, if it's fun. So let's just get started. I have no plan on exactly what's going to happen, but we'll kind of just explain it as we go. It's kind of those games like as you play it, you figure it out. But I want to go and get my free chest for the day, so I'm going to skip and let's see what we get. So we got two shell modes. And again, I've only played the tutorial, so I am still learning. But I know the last thing I was working on, when there's some daily quests or some battles or limited time events, there's a lot you can do in this game. So I guess just to kind of show off the start of it, we'll do some of the daily quests. We do have a one of one we can level up a character, let's see. So, level up characters, power up, equip enchant, enchanted gear onto a character, and the ultimate collector open packs from the store. So I guess we can claim that? Yes, we can claim all the things that we've done. And we hit level 5. That's cool, okay. Let's go ahead and claim that one too. Okay, so we got some currency. Again, I just got this game, so I am learning everything completely fresh. So basically, if you've never played this, same boat as I am right now. So we'll kind of just get in and see what's going on. But we'll start off with the daily. Are there any other daily quests? Okay, another one that we can do. And now we're level six. Cool. Okay. Let's continue. Let's collect that. Um, so now we'll hop in. Here, let me get out of that real quick. Just so you can see. So we'll head into the campaign. I'm not going to worry about the events right now. Here's the characters I have to start off. I'm not sure if these are the ones you default with. But I've got Ariel at level four. I think I can level up some characters. But I have Ariel. I have Sully. I have Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, Aladdin, and Captain Hook. I believe those are probably the characters you get from the beginning because that was part of the tutorial. But as you can see, there's a pretty good amount of characters that you can unlock here. I like that there's Stitch, there's Hero, there's Simba. There's a lot of cool characters here, so I'm excited to kind of see what I can collect over time. I think we can level up characters. We'll cross that path in a minute. But we'll hop into the grand campaign, which is kind of like the main story that I've understood so far. And right now... So I did all the tutorial, which was basically all of this, where you see Captain Hook, all of this level one. Now we're on to level two, where we can have a few different enemies, including a Steel Clan robot, we can have a robot dog, and a Cybug, and a lot of different rewards, as you can see. So let's just jump into it, man. And as you can see, some of the rewards you get as you play along as well. So it looks like we'll get some, let's see, we'll get some Sully tokens, we'll get some Demona tokens, and we'll get some Yzma tokens, so that'll be cool. So let's just hop in. I'll kind of show you guys how the game works. If you played an RPG game, it'll be pretty familiar to you. Let's get Aladdin in our loadout. It will be pretty familiar to you. But there are a few differences from RPG games that I have played. And just things that make it unique to itself. But I've been enjoying it a lot. So I thought if you guys like it too, if you haven't, it's a free game. I recommend checking it out. And maybe it'll be a second game we try to bring to the channel every once in a while. I don't know. We'll kind of see what happens. So it might still give me some tutorial stuff. Because like I said, I just finished level 1. So it looks like auto battle is now available. So that's kind of cool. But I'll show you guys just kind of the basics of it. So bottom left, you can see like the order in which players are coming. So right now Aladdin's first. Then we have one of their dudes is second. Then Captain Hook. And then it looks like it's Sorcerer Mickey after that. That's kind of the order and the speed of which the players come. And when they're able to use their moves. So Aladdin has two moves. One called One Jump Ahead. You can see the damage, the percent chance. And apparently if Jasmine is a teammate, she'll get an assist. So that's cool. And then his just standard move, Street Rat Strike, deal up to 53 damage to target opponents. So that's kind of the way the game works. And then you can click on each character that you want to target. So we'll focus on one of the side characters right now, just so they can't attack us. And I'm not worried about using like my big power moves at the beginning. And you can also speed the game up as well. And I'll probably do that. Just kind of, I want to let you guys be able to see some of the animations and stuff like that. And then I will go ahead and move up the uh, speed so we can play through this faster. So let's see. And as you can see, and also in the top left where the gear is, the one of two. So that's how many phases there are in this battle. So let's see if we can... Yeah, we're going to be able to beat him, no problem. He's not even really doing any damage to us. So taunting basically just makes all of your characters target or vice versa. Whoever is the taunted character, all the opponent's characters will attack. And same for you. So it doesn't really do much for you though when you're the only character left. But it's a very slow start, but once you kind of get into it, it's actually very, very fun. And check this out. Y'all ready for this? Awesome. So Ariel's power move, electric current. Y'all ready for this? This thing is dope. Watch this. 
and nuked it, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's really fun. So we just got some increase to our summoner score. But now that you guys kind of have the basics of it. That's Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So got a ton of stuff there. And we can level, like I said, we can level up some of our characters. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that real quick so you can see. So as you can see, whenever you have the, uh, the little one in the top left of each character card, if you click on it, you can level up. And just go ahead and send the character to the next level. Whoa, we leveled her up twice, I think. Was that twice? It might have been. You get it, Ariel. You get it. Yeah, we can. Sully, the same thing. Level six. See, Mickey, level six. Oh, it must be because of our character level. That's right. Okay. I forgot we leveled up twice at the beginning. I'm not used to that happening very often. So, we have leveled up a few times. Like I said, this is the second time. I basically wanted to play the tutorial in one sitting. And then kind of take a break, see what I thought about it, and then sit down and play with you guys. And that's where we're at right now. But on top of that, we can actually do... Let's see, so we can go and equip some more items also. So you can see all the characters' abilities right here on the left. So this is just how they work. You can see the different uh, how the percentage and stuff like that work out. And then in the middle, we you see all the check marks and stuff, you can equip gear, which gear you unlock by just playing through the campaign. So it looks like we can equip some stuff for Sully. So I just always click equip all just to fill it out. That's the easiest way for me to do it, at least for right now. We're going to do the same for Mickey, because you can see red ones we don't have. You can click on it, and it'll kind of say where you can get the items from throughout the game. But if you do have it, it'll be green. Equip all. Adds a little more power. That one added 45. We'll do the same thing for Aladdin. He's got two, actually, and it'll equip both of them. So we just increased his power to 45. And now let's go back to Captain Hook. Let's do the same thing. Equip all. And now his power went up 10 as well, from 35 to 45. So that should help us out pretty well moving through the campaign. So we'll go ahead, go back to home. Did we get any more quests done? We did not. So let's see. Oh, wait, we can get some stuff here, though. Hold up. We got... What are we getting? Oh, we're getting a lot of gems, it looks like. That's cool. Oh, I guess if you complete them all, you'll get some Maleficent tokens. And as you can see, I have four. You need 145 to summon her. And they're only available through the quest, so wow. Might be a while before we get Maleficent. But let's go back in. We can battle. We'll hop back into the campaign. And let's do round two. So now we have Syndrome Security, another robot dog, and the Steel Clan robot. Let's jump in. I'll speed the attack power up, or the uh, battle speed up. That way it just doesn't take as long to go through each one. But it's a really fun game. It's really fun to kind of just sit back, relax, and play. And since it has auto now, I, didn't, I was wondering if it was going to have that. Because it has auto, you can clearly, like, farm through. Yeah, that's the speed I want to be doing. You can farm through if you want to try to get a bunch of different things. So Captain Hook is actually confused right now. So I haven't had that. That's new for me. I haven't had that happen before. Again, doesn't do a whole lot when you're taunting when you're the only person left, bro. Doesn't do a whole lot. Let's see. Let's use his... Let's go with the one jump ahead move. Because it's pretty cool. Bam! Look at that. That was a one hit right there. But now that it has auto, I know that I can kind of farm it too, which is kind of nice. But it's a very fun, relaxing game. Like I said, I like RPG games, and this is just a Disney equivalent of it. And I think it's really fun. I wanted to bring this to the channel and see, again, if you guys liked it, if you had played it before and you have any tips or suggestions, or if you hadn't played it and just won another Disney-style game. It's very fun. I recommend checking it out. So let's go ahead and continue to the next one. So you earn enough character tokens to promote Sully to the next star level. Oh, sweet. Let's do that. So as you can see, we have more of his tokens, the 15 out of 15. So we can click that. It's going to use 10,000 of our uh, currency. But we just leveled him up and we had a power increase. Everything just went up. What was that? By 10 for offense. Defense was 7. Health was a lot. And then full power up by 15. Nice. Collect character tokens to increase the star level of your character. So again, you're kind of seeing a little bit of the tutorial just like I do it. And then you can click again and it'll show where in the campaign and where through chess and stuff like that you can earn them. So that's basically, that's how the campaign works. But there's also limited time quests. As you can see, everything on the home screen right here. And the clubs. I haven't been to the clubs yet. So maybe we should do that right now. Uh, joining a club will give you access to the club dungeon and club conquest. Oh, so it's like clans from other games. That's cool. Maybe we should start our own. How much, can we start our own? What does it cost? Yo, we can, do. let's do this. Let's make our own clan. BHV. Official B H, let's see, H V. That is autocorrect. What happened there for my typing? B H V Club. That's not it. I can't type right now. 
official BHV club. Is that all? I, can I just do that? Sweet. So what I'll do is, it will be by request. So you guys search for this, and I will accept you guys, and you guys can be in our club. That's kind of cool. So let's do it. Oh wait, I can't do that. Really? Uh, can I do this? BHV Games. What about that? Will that work? Oh, we got it. So yo, we got a club now. So if you guys download this game, you can join my club. We'll have to like learn as we go on how it works because I've never messed with it before. But yo, that's cool. So yeah, feel free to download the game, join the club. But now let's go to the limited time events because I was working on this earlier. So as you can see, there's a lot of limited time events here. I was working on the Aladdin one earlier. That's the one it took me through in the tutorial. And we were making some progress there, but we have Heroic Showdown with Mrs. Incredible. Scrooge's Money Bent Heist. Looks like that gives you currency. Yeah, that's cool. And then Toy Story Showdown. You can get a lot of characters. And then Supers Collide. So there's a lot of stuff you can get here. So that's a good way to level up Aladdin. Let's work on this one because I've already started it. Let's see if we can make any more progress. Let's do that. Let's jump in. So as you can see, I finished uh, level one and level two. Oh, well, I don't need the. Oh, I have to be character level eight. Oh wow. Okay, so never mind. We can't do that right now. Can we do any of the other ones? Let's see. Okay, so never mind. So we have a long ways to go to work on some of these. So I'm gonna have to make some progress. So that one. Oh, that one actually hasn't opened yet. Can we do this one? Oh man, those are creepy, man. The dolls. Those things are creepy. How does the chest work? Is that you have to buy it? Oh, so you get through the currency. Okay. So as you can see, a lot of different chest options. You can buy currency through the store and stuff like that. Can we do these? Oh, we can't. Wow, so we got to have more characters too. Wow, okay. So that's how, the, that's how the quests work though. So we'll just keep working on the campaign. Again, this is new to me. I'm learning this as I go. And I kind of like that idea because then it kind of shows me learning it. And if you're watching the videos and trying to learn as well, it's a way for you to learn also. But I really have been enjoying this game a lot. It's very different than like the Disney Magic Kingdoms other games like that. But I like it. It's something refreshing. And seriously, I'm a really big fan of that. And probably like if I was uh, farming the game, I would be doing auto. But since I'm not that worried about that right now, you know. If I was farming, then it would be a little bit different. But since I'm just playing through the game, through the campaign with you guys, I'm not going to do auto or anything like that. If I try to start leveling up characters, then I will definitely be running auto. So that was easy. It makes a big difference, man, running this in two times speed. I was wondering when I was playing through the tutorial if it was going to have that. So I'm glad that it does. But as you can see, oh, we lost. Oh, shoot, we lost Aladdin. Yo, you knocked out Aladdin Syndrome. Yo, minions. Yo, minions, I got. You know what? We're not going to waste your time. Y'all ready for this? One shot. Oh, I didn't. Oh, shoot. Okay. Y'all ready for this? See this thing at the bottom, in the center, that glowing? So this is like a special, like, Potion or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but magical meteor deal up to 50 plus 12 for player level damage to all opponents. Watch this. Boom. Take that syndrome. Get it. I like using that. It builds up over time, so you don't you can't just like spam it all the time. But it's fun to use and it's satisfying, especially when someone takes out my homie Aladdin. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's keep going. So I might just start level up some characters because that was the first time I've actually lost anybody. So that's interesting. Okay. So we might actually have to be a little more careful now. And as you can see, the yellow bar underneath each player, that's where their progress is when it comes to when they're going to attack. That's like their speed spot. So it's kind of like a fun way to prioritize the order in which people are going to be attacking to see if you can take them out before they can actually attack you. I don't think we're going to be able to take him out, but let's see if we can. Oh, we might be able to. So look at that. So we just took him out, so now he can't attack. Now we need to go for this person over here yeah let's use mickey's whirlpool so that's an aoe attack which is great we couldn't take him out but we're gonna go and just get rid of him now so we don't have to worry about it and then this person's attacking next can this beat him yeah at least we saved one of our people just to avoid one person getting attacked that's all i wanted sweet no one got knocked out that time that's good our summoner score is going up so we are making progress let's see are we finished more daily quests oh we did let's claim this one Let's go ahead and do that. And you can watch an ad also and earn more. But sweet, we're level 7. We've gained more energy. Our max grand energy is now 67. Dude, we're doing good, man. So if you want, you can watch an ad to do stuff like that as well. So have we actually... Oh, these are just all the different 
all the different club levels. Okay. And then we joined a club. So we can go and claim this. So we have a lot of currency now. It made up for the fact of what it cost by a long shot for earning that. Wait, is there one more I missed? Okay. Oh, I can go and claim this one too. I didn't realize there was another one. And we got some gems. Nice. Okay, now we've done everything. So we can go ahead, hop back in. As you can see, I would really like to get... I would really love to get him. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have him in time. He unlocks at level 10. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. So let's see. Let's go ahead and jump back into the campaign really quick. Let's do one more level. Let's do 2E really quickly. But I've been really enjoying this. And I really recommend... I recommend downloading it. It's free to play. It's paid away in just like all other games. But it's free to play. And I've really been enjoying it just for something different. And if you guys want to see more of it, let me know. And maybe this will become like a second series on the channel. I enjoy playing it. So as long as you guys are enjoying it as well, and I hope you guys are, then we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll keep it going. But it's seriously a really fun game. It's pretty addicting too. Just because, again, you can keep trying to unlock new characters and level them up for a while. And they get more powerful and stuff like that. Then having the clubs. I was targeting the wrong person there. Oh, man. He's going to get to attack, but I'll at least go ahead and... Oh, never mind. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Well, one person got to attack, but that was it. And you know what? Just the disrespect. Just take him out with the disrespect. You know what I'm saying? You have to do it when you can. Oh, I just noticed a lag gets on his carpet afterwards. That's fun. I have not noticed that before. Sweet. Let's go. Can we level up anyone else? Actually, we can level up everybody. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and take him up to level 7. Heck yeah. So we got Sully up. Make sure there's nothing else we can level up for him. It doesn't look like it. Same for Ariel. Let's go ahead and level her up. Anything else that she can have? Not right now. Sorcerer's Mickey. Same thing. Dude, we're making progress right now, but we can equip something else for him. So sweet. So Mickey just got a little bit stronger. And Aladdin. Let's level him up. Can he get anything yet? No piece of good right now. <clears throat> Same for Captain Hook. Let's get him. Everybody's level 7. Good progress. And guys, we'll let's go ahead before we go. Before we go, I'll kind of show you, if we go to the store, just so you can kind of see what's going on. This is where you can see all the different packs. So this is kind of what we saw before with all different packs, the currency. This is where, again, like the, the pay to win aspect kind of comes in. But you can still play for free. There's chests you can unlock through gems. And like, as you can see, I'm slowly building mine up. I haven't spent any money. And you can get 10 ad chests every day on top of your free four-hour chest and a 24-hour free chest. So... There's a few different things that you can do. It says I have a campaign chest. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't open this. Which one is this? Yo, so we can actually. There's a chance to get a lot of characters here, man. Let's open this really quick. Complete grand campaign battles to earn grand campaign coins. Let's open this. Let's see what we get. I didn't know. Okay. So let's see. First off, we got. Five fire motes. We should be able to equip those on somebody. We got huh, one token for last one. I think that was the guaranteed thing. And then huh, one towards anger. Okay. Well, cool. I mean, that was free. Though. Like, we, got, we got that. So we just earned that just naturally. So as you can see, like you can earn stuff over time also. And this is where you can buy, obviously, all the gems. Ooh, free gem offers. What's this? Is it going to be an ad? It's going to be an ad, isn't it? It's going to be an ad. Oh, it's not. Oh, no, I'm not going to do any of those. Not doing any of those. <laughs> I would not recommend. Sometimes those don't work. Do them at your own risk. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do here. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this for a first video. Again, I was kind of just showing my way around, showing you all how it works. Let's go ahead and equip these new things for Hook, though, while we're right here. Yo, I think we just gave him everything. Yo, we can max out now. We can, we can tear him up now. So we just unlocked a new ability. So yeah, once you equip all six things, you unlock a new ability. So we got a new passive, which is bad form. And that is on turn start, 5 to 15% chance to perform the following. Gain haste for one turn. Chance to activate is increased the lower this character's health is. Cool. So yeah, when you equip all six things, you get to unlock a new gear tier ability. That, or other stuff probably too. But that's really cool. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end it there because I'm going to keep discovering new things. And I don't want to keep it distracted. But... Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you like it, again, join my clan. It is called, again, just so you can see, BHV Games. Send a request. I'll accept them whenever I'm playing the game. But hopefully you did enjoy this. If you want to see this, maybe as a second series on the channel, let me know in the comment section down below. But either way, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Later.